here we are after hours in the shop on Friday I'll just show you one of the cars we were working on today 2013 Audi a 4 2 liter turbo car here uh, customer complaint uh, they had just replaced the PCV oil separator valve themselves and spark plugs because they had a misfire code and um, idle sorry an air intake leak code um, then on the way over here to pick up their other car we just did an evaporator core in an f-150 he said it started running really poorly and wanted us to take care of it because they were going out of town and he didn't have time to deal with it so um, what we had was a p0299 under boost code and y'all might have seen this before but what we determined here was that the turbo is bad if you've got Audi this is fairly common so what you need to do is pull off the catalytic converter my technician said it wasn't too bad except for one of the bottom bolts he had to get creative with super long extension and a swivel I think 15 millimeter um, but what we are looking for is that wastegate PO299 is a under boost condition and what happens is this wastegate here comes loose and then you end up having to replace the turbo here is a better view and what happens is this wastegate cannot seal and then you get bad boost so the fix is to the right fix is to replace the turbo which comes with the manifold attached we got a Borg Warner unit, which is supposedly the OE manufacturer. So all this comes loose. You need some gaskets, the exhaust manifold gasket, cat gasket here, one uh, three bolt cat gasket on the back. Uh, I'll show you my parts. I bought Molly turbo mounting set. As the forward four bolt gasket the, to the head gasket, oil return, a syringe for something, banjo bolt, oil uh, gaskets and an o-ring, and this Ajusa three bolt gasket. There's the part number for that. Molly part number right there. So turbo will be here Monday it was coming from my suppliers warehouse somewhere else we will get it done on Monday put all this back together and he had also mentioned about when he was doing the spark plugs he some of these connectors I think were loose maybe that one's broken so that one's broken too so that's not good but we can address that when we get to it um, the cheap fix on that one is to put some rtv in in the cavity but not where it's touching the pins just to where the, the outer edge of the coil fits in between the housing and the pin kind of cavity so so in there that that helps it stay secure um, that's kind of our solution sometimes whenever we can't get the coils sorry get the connectors um, so I'll look for the connectors see if we can get that and there's that you have to pull off 
There's the other bit of parts there, air box, venom, uh, subframe brace piece, and that'll be it. Thanks for watching.